Hey guys, Compulsion84 here. Today I've got a video comparing the Google Home versus the Amazon Echo or Amazon Alexa. I wanted to find out how these things functioned against one another, so I set up a little side-by-side -side test. What I'm going to be doing is, is asking a set list of questions to both of these devices and showing you the response. The plan is to condense and cut in post-production the responses so that the video will be shorter. One other thing to mention is there's actually two versions of this video. You're actually watching the extended one with full commentary and more tests. If you would like an abbreviated shorter one, there's one linked above that's about seven or eight minutes long. All right, let's get going. Alexa, what time is it? It's noon. Hey Google, what time is it? 12 o'clock. Alexa, what's the weather in Columbus, Ohio? In Columbus, Ohio, it's 29 degrees with clear skies and sun. Today, you can look for intermittent clouds with a high of 38 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. Right now in Columbus, it's 34 and mostly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 40 and a low of 29. Alexa, what's the date? It's Saturday, November 11th. It is Saturday, the 11th of November, 2017. Alexa, what time is sunset? Sunset is at 4.59 p.m. The sun will set at 4.59 p.m. Alexa, set timer for one hour. One hour, starting now. All right, one hour, and here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Alexa, add buy ground beef to shopping list. I added buy ground beef to your shopping list. Okay, I've added buy ground beef to your shopping list. Add throwaway Google Home to to-do list. I've added throwaway Google Home to your to-do list. Hey Google, add throwaway Echo to my to-do list. Sorry, to-do list is not yet supported. Well, that's new. Uh, November 2017, just for your reference. Hey Google, what's the first item on my calendar today? All right, Matt, that meeting is called Workout and is today at 2 p.m. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Today, there are four events remaining. At 2 p.m. there's workout. Alexa, set alarm for 12.06 p.m. Alarm set for 12.06 p.m. Done. Your alarm set for 12.06 p.m. Alexa, what year was Benjamin Franklin born? Benjamin Franklin was born in 1706. Benjamin Franklin was born on January 17, 1706. Details. Alexa, who is Neil deGrasse Tyson? Neil deGrasse Tyson is an American astrophysicist, writer, and science communicator. He is currently the first Frederick P. Rose director of the Hayden Planetarium in New York City. Alexa, stop. According to Wikipedia, Neil deGrasse Tyson is an American astrophysicist, author, and science communicator. Okay. Uh, Alexa really rambled on with that one. Uh, let's do the next... Hey, no one's talking to you. Stop. Sorry, I don't know that. Well, there's the alarms. Alexa, stop. Hey Google, stop. Let's go a little tougher question-wise. Alexa, what is Funhouse? The Funhouse is a 1980 novelization by best-selling author Dean Koontz of Larry Alexa, screenplay. Alexa, stop. On the website roosterdeep.com, they say, Funhouse is a new gaming channel with a seven-member cast consisting of seasoned Alexa. veterans Adam Kovic, Bruce oh. Green, Lauren <laughs> hey, Sonda, Google. James Whip. Stop. All right, let's try to be more specific for the Echo. Alexa, what is Funhouse YouTube? Sorry, I'm not sure. Okay, so that's a fail for Alexa. All right, let's go with cooking. These are really handy devices to use while you're cooking hands-free. Alexa, how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? One tablespoon equals three teaspoons. One U.S. tablespoon equals three U.S. teaspoons. I'm sorry, international people. My country is a bunch of savages when it comes to measurements. <laughs> hey, Google. Compare 100 centimeters to inches. 100 centimeters equals 39.37 inches. 100 centimeters is 39.37 inches. Let's do some math. Alexa, convert 1,000 PSI to megapascals. 1,000 pounds per inch to is 7 megapascals. 1,000 pounds force per square inch equals 6.895 megapascals. Ooh, more sig figs. I didn't think this part through. I need to control a smart device in the other room. 
Hold on. Alexa, turn on lamp. Lamp isn't responding. Hey Google, turn on lamp. You got it, turning on the lamp. Hey Google, turn off lamp. Sure, turning the lamp off. So that's interesting. It looks like the Google Home is controlling the lamp and not giving up priority to the Alexa devices. Um, I can say it always works because <laughs> I normally use an Alexa to turn on and off that lamp. But if you have them two together on the same devices, they may not play nice because right now I can only operate the lamp with the home. All right, more questions. Hey Google, what is anime? Anime, a style of Japanese film and television animation typically aimed at adults as well Stop. as children. Alexa, what is anime? Anime has several meanings as a noun. One. A hard copal derived from an African tree. 2. Any of various resins or oleoresins. 3. A style of animation developed in Japan, characterized by stylized stop. colorful art and often adult themes. Alexa, stop. So Alexa eventually got there. It just took a little bit more of a rambling, incoherent response. <laughs> All right, so now I've got a cheapo volume meter to compare the volumes of these two devices. And I'll also compare the dot um, that's behind this camera but you'll get a rough idea how loud each device is. Hey Google, what is anime? Anime, a style of Japanese. All right, 94 and a half for the home. Alexa, what time is it? It's 12.20 PM. Ugh, that was friggin' loud. 98.6 in a closed room. Variety of seasonings including chili powder, scallions, garlic, my stupid little meter doesn't accurately capture volume differences between devices, and it may not work at all. You're just gonna have to trust me. The Generation 1 Echo is super freaking loud. Um, the full-size Generation 1 Google Home, also loud. Second generation Amazon Alexa Dot is not that loud. I would, I don't wanna say half, but maybe 60% the volume. Hey Google, play music. All right, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. Here's a station you might like, Elton John, from Amazon Music. All right, sorry, I'm going to prune out what I heard and what you heard. I really don't feel like getting several copyright strikes. And they both play music just fine. They both integrate with things like Pandora. They can do things like skip track, play for fast forward, such and such. They both work really well for that. All right, back to science. Alexa, how heavy is tungsten? Tungsten's atomic weight is 183.84. The atomic mass of tungsten is about 183.84 atomic mass units. All right, let's go uh, all Wolfram Alpha on this thing. Hey, Google, how much volume is one pound of gold? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that, but my team's helping me learn. Sorry, I don't know that one. All right, double failure on that one. Uh, spelling. Hey, Google, how to spell onomatopoeia? Onomatopoeia is spelled O-N-O-M-A-T-O-P-O-E-I-A. -O -O -E Alexa, how to spell onomatopoeia? Onomatopoeia is spelled O-N-O-M-A-T-O-P-O-E-I-A. -O -O Board games. Alexa, what is Settlers of Catan? Settlers of Catan, the multiplayer board game designed by... According to Wikipedia, the Settlers of Catan, sometimes shortened to Catan or Settlers. Alexa, how to make a mojito. Okay, for mojito, I recommend a mojito, which takes two minutes to make. You can ask for more information, or for more recipes, say next. More information. It has 3.7 stars with 54 reviews, and uses ingredients like half lime, juiced, one sprig fresh mint, crushed, half cup crushed ice. Do you want me to tell you the ingredients? Send this to your phone, or hear the next. Alexa, stop. Hey, Google. Okay, I've got a recipe called the real mojito from all recipes. This recipe serves one and takes about 10 minutes to make. Does that sound good? Sure. Great, let's get started. Would you like to prepare the ingredients or skip to the instructions? Ingredients. There are six ingredients. I'll read them one by one. Let me know when you're ready for the next ingredient. The first ingredient is 10 fresh mint leaves. Google. Hey, Google. Next. The second ingredient is one half lime cut into four wedges. Hey, Google. 
Stop. Those were both equally terrible. I think Google's might have been worse because I had to keep talking to this stupid thing so much. What's this velocity of 556 NATO? Sorry, I don't know that. Hey Google, what's the velocity of 556 NATO? Here is some information from the web that might possibly help. Here's a summary from the website n.wikipedia.org. Do not have enough muzzle velocity energy to cause extreme damage that hey, occurs Google. only at terminal... All right, what's interesting with that one is neither of them actually knew the answer, but the Google uh, device started pulling from Wikipedia or the internet. It pulled kind of, obs I don't want to say obscure, but middle of the article, not super helpful, relevant data, but it at least tried. So I guess that's better. Alexa, what's the world's fastest car? The fastest car is Bugatti Veyron. What's the world's fastest car? Here's a summary from the website digitaltrends.com. Watch the run here. Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, Hennessy Venom GT, Bugatti Chiron, SSC Ultimate Aero, Koenigsegg CCR, hey and McLaren. So they kind of got to the same point, but Google pulled from the internet again. I think that reflects the fact that the uh, Google artificial intelligence is just better. All right, here's one that I get uh, slightly irritated with fairly often. Alexa, add event to tomorrow's calendar, 4 p.m. Do stuff. Okay. And what's the name of the event? Do stuff. That's do stuff on Sunday, November 12th at 4 p.m., right? Yes. Add event to tomorrow's calendar, 5 p.m. Do stuff. At what time? 5 p.m. Okay, 5 p.m. Do stuff with calendar tomorrow at 5 p.m. Do you want to save this? Yes. All right, so they both do the similar thing that I run into trouble with with the Alexa a lot. They need, they can't take the whole event typically. If you give them the time or the event, they'll handle one or the other, but it's very rare where it will put the whole thing in your calendar. Alexa, what's Breaking Bad? The fourth season of the American television drama series Breaking Bad premiered on July 17th, 2011. Alexa. Here is some information about Breaking Bad. Mild-mannered high school chemistry teacher Walter White thinks his life can't get much worse. So Google was a little bit better with that one. Alexa, movie times for Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok is playing at four theaters. Showtimes are 1 o'clock in 3D, 1.40. The closest theater playing Thor Ragnarok is... There are several showtimes today. The first one is at 1.40 p.m. Something I'm super thrilled about. Sports. Alexa. Oakland Raiders score. On Sunday, the Raiders beat the Dolphins 27 to 24. The Raiders won 27 to 24 last Sunday against the Miami Dolphins. Okay, so Google gave me a short, succinct response, and the uh, Alexa gave me a long, rambling one. With... Sorry, I don't know that. No one's talking to you. It gave me a longer response than I wanted, but they both passed. All right, to show you how the volume control works. Hey Google, volume down. Hey Google, volume seven. Alexa, volume down. Alexa, volume seven. One important thing I forgot to mention is both the Google devices, the full size and the mini, do not have three and a half millimeter audio output jacks. So if you want to hook one of these devices to a better speaker for like playing music or something, you can't. And that's a really big downside. Now the original Amazon Echo full size also does not have a three and a half millimeter output jack, but the small dots in the new second gen Echoes all do have a three and a half millimeter output. All right. I tabulated the results in my highly scientific sheet. So why did I do this? Well, not only to make another YouTube video for all you good people, but uh, I was genuinely curious if keeping with the Amazon ecosystem was worth it as compared to the Google one. I've got a full-size Alexa and a Echo Dot, and I was just curious, is it worthwhile to uh, sell, it on, sell it all on Craigslist and to move over to Google's ecosystem? My short answer is no. Um, I've This is the first time I've really compared each personally in depth, and they both function very similarly. The Google device is a little bit better in some of the, I'm going to say, random question type testing, but as far as all the smart home actions, everyday actions, things like temperatures, to-do lists, uh, weather forecasts, they function very similarly. One might have a little bit more of an expanded or succinct response, but they both essentially give you the same answers. There were very few questions that I asked it where one device didn't give some sort of response and the other one did.
Having all these voice commands is really handy and really neat, especially if you buy smart devices. Um, whether you go with the Alexa or the Google Home uh, Mini or the Dot, they're both about $50. I'm sure they'll both be on sale on Black Friday. Uh, I've got links to both of those, or I should say to everything in the description below. Um, these devices are really neat. If you don't have one, I would say, if unless you're really tied into one, e one ecosystem, get the one that's either cheaper or maybe the one that you find more aesthetically pleasing. They're both really good devices. Um, I can say the Alexa speaker is pretty good for what it is. It's not gonna compete with a Sonos, but it is a good device. So the other closing thoughts that I jotted down, set up, um, that was a tie. They were both five or 10 minutes to get it going. A uh, home control tie, they both performed the same functions for the same devices, um, maybe slightly different syntax, but they both did the same things. Uh, as far as random questions, I'll give Google a slight leg up, but that was, it wasn't enough that I was just like, oh, this is awesome. I mean, maybe if you wanna sit here and ask stupid questions to a robot all day, then go with the Google one, but it wasn't enough for me to think of anything about it. Um, comparing the full-size home to the full-size Echo, the Echo was significantly louder, 10 was to the point where it was unpleasant in the small room. And when it comes to responses, they both responded almost immediately. Um, with some of the harder requests, I could see both of them queuing and going to, uh, I would say, I guess, Wikipedia mode, where it was checking the external internet versus checking its, uh, I would say, its cache of data. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it. So as I wrap this up with about an hour's worth of testing, I would say they're both great devices. Go with whichever one you're already embedded in the ecosystem with, or whichever's cheaper, or frankly, whichever one you think is the prettiest. I was fully considering selling my Amazon devices on Craigslist and buying Google devices on Black Friday when they'll be cheaper, but honestly, I don't see a need. Anyways, if you haven't seen me before, I'm Compulsion84, and I like to make videos about guns, gaming, and gadgets. Subscribe to my channel for more great videos, and I hope I see you next time.